Can you hear me now? Nope. Can you hear me now? God damn, I guess I still can't hear. My audio is working on the system because I played a video, so it must be Skype. <laughs> I just tested uh, a video. Audio settings. Oh, speakers. No wonder. Oh. Hello? Oh, God, dog it, Flab. Hold on. Woo! Did you find the button? Uh, you know, I just installed this new Skype. Maybe it was that the whole time. I don't know. Can, can you I, hear? I, I, can you hear me? Of course I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you're just so excited about t about five-year-old plus technology. <laughs> you are way too excited about five-year-old plus technology right there. Hey, but this is Windows. This is Windows. <laughs> uh, okay, but the fact that Windows didn't have it doesn't make it not five-year-old plus technology. You know. <laughs> Uh, okay, but this is something other platforms have been able to do for quite some time, so I'm... Oh, oh. one platform. No, BSD could do it too. Uh, so uh, could other versions, so could other Unix systems. Mainstream. mainstream. Okay, mainstream would be BSD and Linux. Alright, so... You didn't send the, uh... I thought we were doing Windows 8. <laughs> I didn't really... You didn't want to do any, anything else? Okay. Like yeah. Apple, or...? Oh, we, we can go wherever the conversation goes. You know, I'm, I'm fine with whatever. <laughs> I... Ah, no, I did not put together a formal thing because I thought we were going to be doing Windows. But we can do whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Here, let me let me create a, a scratch file to put stuff in then. <laughs> create docu. Trying not to laugh at the idea that it was user error with your Skypeness. <laughs> Until Apple makes you change that email. <laughs> no, I don't have to change that email, remember? I know. <laughs> Uh, well, we did, um, back, but I think, uh, what But if you wanted to do Windows, we'll do Windows. Uh, hang on, let me find the old note I had back from the other Windows day. Windows 8. Windows 8. Windows 8. Uh, had some back, but I'm not sure any of it's even remotely relevant anymore. Yeah, because I started naming them date now. I don't even know what thing it is. When the hell was that day? That was this one. Oh, I'm 
watch it. Well, uh, uh, okay, there was... about that technology before we get into seeing if Windows 8 has redeemed itself. Has Microsoft let it open-ended to anything you can boot off of, or have they designed it to work with USB, so as USB begins to get fixed? You can fit, boot off of anything. I okay. mean, can, I'm running off of a 2006 machine right now. No, but you're running it off of a USB stick. If you put it on yeah. an eSATA, a, a, anything, it's okay. Anything that you could boot, anything that you could boot from I so, in theory, you could do this off of an RJ45. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, Windows 8 just doesn't give a crap. Whatever, all I see the thing, let me tell you, Microsoft is not making the process straightforward to do this Windows to go, because I know they want it to be just for the IT professionals and all this other stuff. But there's plenty of instructions out there online uh, that, that you, can, you can do it, and anything that you can plug into, say, let's just Windows 7. Format it, NTFS, make it bootable, and all that other crap is going to boot straight into Windows 8. Well, uh, they need to make that straightforward because on the other platforms that have been doing this for, like I said, half a decade, the process to create this thing is click, 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 wait while we format the USB. <laughs> that it's well, like, yeah, it, it, ha it has to format. I mean, it, it, I formatted it NTFS on it. didn't take it off. No, but it's like it, 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 it's largely built into a number of systems and it's three clicks away. It, it, you're telling. Well, look, this is a, a consumer thing and I've read, read multiple times over from like Microsoft sources that this is not the thing that they're trying to sell. I found out this through Channel 9 <laughs> on their like tech, tech stuff. But they have like a, a, a show on now. I, I'm sure there are plenty of other people that also watch the same thing. There are some agencies I think that have even played up on it, but I don't think most people are going to try to do Windows to go. I was just saying, wow, okay, Windows always being the make fun of operating system. Yeah, it's come a long way. I mean, yes, they've joined the 21st century. Yeah, How nice I mean, of them to join this century. I had no problems uh, in, in installing older drivers. And then it's neat that if, 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 like you, I can give a recommendation though, if people are trying to in install older hardware and you download the driver, which would be like a Windows 7 driver or something, and it says it doesn't support Windows 8 or operating system not supported, go to the file itself, right click it, and then troubleshoot it. And you have two options. You can do uh, recommended uh, detect settings, or you can do the other option, which I can't remember, is like it, it, it asks you what system. That, that isn't going to, fit. that sounds like the equivalent of what they had at XP, which was running compatibility mode or whatever, but that's yeah, not. Uh, Windows 7 had for older drivers. I mean, look, look I mean, there's. Uh, well, but that's not going to fix the, the, the main complaint with drivers on older hardware is expensive hardware, end of line, that uh, basically. There has never been a Vista or Seven driver. It's uh, if that's the case, then no one's going to build for it. I mean, if it's an old driver. Well, yeah, I know, but this is th th this is like industrial equipment, and this is equipment that's used right. for creating stuff. And mm -hmm. you know, these people are, are, are. This is business, and this business is the businesses who are in this situation are are they're contemplating. If Microsoft kills XP, which they need to run their business, just chucking Windows all together so they don't ever have that problem again. That I know. That I know. 
I mean, I know that uh, Toronto one is a nice buy. Linux is not an alternative for a lot of these places, for, especially for. No, but they don't want to get backed into that uh, corner again. You know, basically, well, they won't go to Windows 8. They'll go backwards to Windows 2000, uh, oh, yeah, which Microsoft can't kill because it doesn't have the genuine advantage stuff. Here's the thing the niche you're talking about never upgrades because the hardware is too expensive to worry about the software. So if it's not broke, don't fix it. And, 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 and as long as that system works, it works. That's what makes some money for them. It's, it's kind of like the argument that I think is silly that Apple makes for iOS. Why does everybody always have to have a latest and operating system on their phone? Not everybody does. If it, if it works, it does everything you want. What do you want to upgrade for? And I don't even think users really want to unless they're really geeky about it. And so oh, I want to Well, and, and honestly, this is one of the reasons I wish Microsoft and other companies didn't put this artificial cap and limitations in. Because there's plenty of people who have shown that IE9 it will hack nicely into XP. And so it's like, Microsoft, stop this bullshit. Yes, you're not going to... But, you know, don't deliberately prevent something that will run over here from running over here just to... Just to say, oh, no, you have to buy the latest and greatest. If they're going to buy the latest and greatest, they're going to buy the latest and greatest. If they're running another implementation, yes, they can't have all the latest and greatest, but there's no reason to artificially limit what they have access to either. Uh, well, that's cool. So anyway, uh, uh, so far, I will tell you though, there's I have it. I'm impressed with it as, as as it would be. Okay, but I I will tell you, Windows 8. It's not that it has like technical issues. It has a lot. It's still the UI that, you're, that we're discussing would say. I would almost do away with the desktop. I don't even know why they have it. Because you could, you could typically... My god, he's gone post... He hasn't just gone MS fanboy, he's gone post PC! <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's why, here's why. Navigating back and forth between the desktop and Metro is kind of silly. I mean, it, it, it is... I know how to do it. Now, I, Chris Perillo had like this video that I watched recently where his dad didn't... Once he launched an application that went to the desktop, he didn't know how to get back to the tiles. Hey, uh, that's, that's one of the things we were going to go over this evening, assuming you can do screencasts and stuff. I'm like, okay, show me what's involved in that, because that was one of the major complaints about this going Metro. You, you in date, average user, you know, like Grandpa, is, is going to open a legacy application, and legacy application is yes. going, so to de de it's going to have to default back to desktop mode. Right. Which then, Grandpa's lost. What? Where'd my computer go? I'm fucked. <laughs> well, here's, here's something that was interesting. One of the videos that was a response to Chris Bowen had a dad who, who knew his computer. So he was used to hitting escape. Here's the thing that kind of pissed me off about stuff. Um, I come from this... Uh, uh, my, my college degrees are not in computers or anything like that, right? But when I took typing and, and looked at learning on Windows, we, we it's, it's kind of like the Unix system, right? We, the command keys for OS X and the Windows keys for Windows are, 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 are very much the heart of Unix, Linux, and Windows systems. And yet, they're there and nobody knows what the fuck they do. And that pisses me off. And, and this one father knew to hit escape on some things, but escape is not the, the, real, the real key combination. We, in the old days, used to learn control escape. And he hit escape when he was in the desktop. And I was like, just hit control escape, which is the old thing, say, and, and you can switch, like I am now, between... Uh, I can't see your screen. <laughs> oh, you can't screencast? Uh, I'm not doing it from there. Well, but yes, I, I could from... Uh, you want me to install uh, Camp Studio? See? Control escape, control escape. Now, you can do it with the Windows key, which was um, the original thing. So, uh, th th that's how I figured it out. Quite honestly, I just did that. When I didn't see a start button or anything, uh, yeah, you, and you, I was like, you, But you know what? 80% plus of the end user doesn't use the keyboard to I'm do not that. Gonna make, I'm saying I'm a disappointed. They use this thing. They use the little button click to do that. I so, if they can't I, find I, their icon to click, they're lost. I'm. I'm direction that we go as users and become less efficient. Now, the thing of it is, is that they could easily put a start button there right next to the IE logo 
you know, right, right here. You know what they did? See, it's stuck like the, the tablet mode in uh, XP. See, like right here, there could be a start button that would just flip you back. It's well, actually, the there button. is in the corner there. There's the menu yeah, launch thing. Right now, a lot of support windows are already in this campaign tutorial. Maybe they'll do that on the screen with the activity and shit like that. I don't know. But my thing is, is Microsoft, you can do a UI implementation far easier. I would, I say, get rid of the desktop as we know it here, and 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 all that happens is that legacy runs, but this UI background here is not our traditional desktop. It, it, it's maybe a massive tile, kind of like how WebOS hands old handles uh, the widget function within cards. Is that this whole thing can just be like a, a, a UI tile that you can you could put even on on the tablets or whatever for. I, I, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you right now, bit if that that may be Windows nine. If they even thought no. about doing that for Windows eight, it's not Windows anymore. And the average user is gonna take one look at it and go, "Where's my start menu? It sucks." I'm, I'm just telling you. I think people are gonna complain about the UI, but I I've gotten used to it. It's quick. It's quick. I like it. Um, okay. But I will tell you. The mouse over hot zones and stuff. I just, I just did it and I saw it. But I think uh, uh, I'll agree that that uh, with some other pundits out there that we stare with our eyes. And on a, on a tablet, it makes sense to swipe and all sort of stuff, right? And that's what those zones are for. Just detect your own desktop, for fuck's sake. And put and put those neat. Their bars don't look bad, I don't think. And if they want to auto hide them. That's fine. Or maybe when the system starts, it's like an initial. Oh, okay, wait a minute. What the heck happened? Because Tuesday, you were you you had become the Microsoft fanboy, and it's perfect. They fixed all these problems, and now we're back to the same UI problems of. No, it, I, they did. My mouse and keyboard work. I'm just saying to make it perfect for the layman user. Well, that, 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 but see, that was the complaint to start with. Not that you no, couldn't not, make it work. That it was counter. That it was that the departure in the UI is counterintuitive enough to the average user that they are going to be in a boxing the major, match. The major complaint was that our mouse and keyboards did not function well. No, that that, it, that, it, that okay. It, that, it, okay it, that may have been your major complaint. My major complaint was this UI is such a departure. That regardless of how well you make, a the mouse and keyboard didn't integrate with. That was one complaint. But the other complaint was, this is such a counterintuitive to Windows people. The people who have the best shot at getting their head around this UI departure are people who haven't been using Windows, who've been doing more now, sophisticated now asking, stuff. See, when you were asking like very technical things, so like I installed Skype, which installed on the desktop, but see it does put a tile. I, 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 can you not do? Can you not like Skype screencast that screen? What? Like Skype lets you do screencast. Are you running Skype from that system? How do I do a screencast from Skype? I never knew that. What do you do? Uh, where the devil is it? Um, hang on. Tools. I'm looking at tools. Apps. Get get apps. I don't know. I don't know what I. I'm not the best Skype person to ask. To be oh, hold on. I'll get the directions for it. It's been a while since I've done it on a Windows system. But uh. Anyway, I, I I'm I am. I now this system is not the system. I have all my database crap and all that other stuff on, which I should probably here. I'll show you my other one here. Visual Studio 11, 
like a bill notificator. I have uh, my uh, MS SQL right here. This says DB. I, don't, I can't. It just says DB there. Well, but the, the things um, going to be how yes, into well. uh, okay. Windows has a shitload of features the average user doesn't know shit about. I mean, on any Windows system, you can hit Control Alt Tab, and you can yeah, change the your... orientation and stuff of the screen all over the place. Wait, hold on. This is your control panel, so you can do specifics like disk cleanup, computer management, uh, even print management. You, you can make whatever tile you want. This I made as a. Uh, there's my, uh, my cams to be a recorder. And see, with the mouse, which I will do, which I'm, see, I'm doing with the, just a, this is just uh, from the mouse wheel. This, this never worked on, on uh, the, on the uh, what do you call it, the, de the, dev, the dev version. Here, okay. Ben, do me a favor. On your Skype box, click on, on the one that you're broadcasting from. Click the share button. Share? Yeah. It's on the screen. It's on the screen. It'd be on this. Well, I, I'm assuming the Windows 8 no. UI is the same. You have the add people and a share one. Like you have end call, microphone, speaker, add people, share. I have add send. Oh, it add send share. Share screens. Yes, do that. Is it doing it? I don't know. It's red on the border. Oh dear. What? What? Oh, well, it's sharing, but it's showing me your desktop. Will it, will it let me? Will it let you show the regular? There we go. Okay, now I'm seeing what you're looking at. Now this is just in. You know, this is just my Windows. I haven't put any of my apps on. Okay, but this is pretty much how you would start with Windows 8. I guess you would, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I'm an average user. I don't know shit about Windows 8. What the hell's happened to my Windows? Okay. Oh, press the, press the, everybody's going to bitch. Wait a minute. You know, like, if you're saying, if you're trying to get me to say that no one's going to bitch about it. No, you know, no, I, I'm asking, well, everybody bitched about 7. Everybody bitched about Vista. The difference between 7 and Vista is once they stopped yeah, bitching, they were able to I'm stop fighting with the material. Tutorial, with a good tutorial, I think IT's going to love this, especially the like the packaging with Windows to go and controlled application save outs, and on systems where drivers are, are saved. That that you know they'll just have their tiles up here, and most people that I know don't even if they see their icon and look like my godmother. Where's my icons? I need to have you know my icons here. You know I love her to death, but she has to have her icons in, in the right place. My dad has to have an icon. For his, his, his Firefox exact, no, not Firefox, yeah, through Firefox, his Yahoo start page. That's how my comment, like that. even on the Mac. <laughs> I, uh, no, I understand, and every user's got yeah. their odd little weird yeah. quirks like that. But uh, yeah, I, I yeah, actually, do, do me a favor, okay? Launch an application that's going to fall you back to desktop mode. There you go! <laughs> Perfect example! <laughs> okay, you've had a Skype call, you've fallen back to desktop mode. You have a bunch of stuff running on Metro mode because by default you are opening Windows applications. Switch me back to Metro mode. Which way do you want me to do it? I mean, there's several. I can go down, you know, like where the start button would be and do that. I mean, uh, okay. I mean, that's with the mouse. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, that, yeah that's probably the way the user's going to do it. Okay. I mean, you could also hold on. You could, you could also. Uh, you can push the Windows button. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Now, oh. now let, let's do the thing I was trying to get you to do the other day. Go back to desktop mode for a moment. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Open IE there. It's not going to be open on the tile side. That's too bad. Yeah. Now open another tab here. What? Uh, another tab, another window, something. Okay. Now, if you hover over the IE icon down there, you'll see two things, right? Yes. Okay. Go back to Metro mode. Open IE here. Oh, 
you went up open eye. Yeah, now you're in the full screen IE that doesn't support flash. Why does it keep default presentation? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I tried. I, uh, or it's just going to be Okay, yeah, that, that, that's good enough. Okay, now open me, open another tab in this IE. Another tab in this IE. Yeah, because you're in full screen mode right now. You want to be running two things, so open another. Okay, so now you got your two IEs going over here. Okay. Now switch between. Now, now go back to IE. You're in IE right here. You got your two tabs right there. Okay. Now be go like go to your Bing tab. What? What do you mean? The one you opened where you were on Bing. You didn't you open a Bing IE tab? Uh, I think I did. Whoops, I'm on that. I don't know how to use IE's. Uh, where is their IE's little settings? They don't have settings anymore? Or what? what? What do you mean by settings? Like, and this IE that they have here, which I'm never going to use. How do I get? How do I get to their URL bar on that shit? Well, that's that search bar in the bottom down there. Actually, it's a counter. That's not the search bar there. It is not. In the bottom. Go to the bottom of the screen. Go back to IE. Where'd it go? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, now you got three of them open. See, it, it keeps it keeps doing this. I, I don't. I, why does it jump? That, how do I get that stupid the, the tabs menu back? That's I, what I want to know. <laughs> oh, 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 well, but you're getting into exactly what I'm talking about. This is what I. This is the boxing match I see the average user having with this UI. No, 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 no. That's a fucking Windows Explorer. This is their new little stupid ass version. That I'm not saying is a Windows. This is their their idiotic. Uh, um, this is their damn idiotic way of doing something. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's those little icons down there. And there's your. Uh, by the way, you just found the address bar. It's right there on the bottom. Oh, it's that's right. See, I'm used to it up top. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. But this this right here is what the number one complaint is. All these little things that are, I mean, you, you've been singing the praises of Windows 8 for the last uh, few I days. Still, I still, I still, I oh, 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 okay. This is IE9, this is this, or IE9. Actually, this is IE10. IE10, yeah, I don't like it. I'm <laughs> quite up to use it. This is IE10 Metro mode, which is different than IE10 desktop mode. But anyways, getting back to what I was going to have you do. Now that you know how to find the tabs, here is a task I see the average user doing all the time. I want you to go from this tab. How many clicks does it take you to go from... Go, well, stop getting out of it. Go back into it. Okay, you're here. You're on a web page. How... But this is not a Windows 8 discussion. This is an IE tab. No, this is a this is a this is a UI discussion. Okay. A window, a window, a, a ID I, a, 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 I'm using IE as an example, but we can do it with other applications in a minute if you want, and you can argue that it's only an IE version fine. But here's what I want you to do: How many clicks does it take you, or how many actions does it take you to go from this web page to the one you have running in desktop mode? That would be. One two in Windows Seven. How many actions is it here? One two. I just did it. One two. Okay. One, now what are two. those two actions? Huh? What are those two actions? Click and I click. Where's the define the clicks though? You know, like uh, where do you click to go over to the desk? I guess at the top. Oh, okay. Oh. Click and click. Click and click. So if you right click is what it's if you right click anywhere else it it, it like if I go Well here, you're still in metro mode there. That wasn't what I told uh, okay. you. Okay. Okay, outside the web page? Yeah. It, it'll click oh, where do you want me to go to I want you to go to the one that's in desktop mode. 
In two clicks. In two clicks? What do you mean? But in Windows, what are you talking about? In Windows, in Windows 7? Uh, okay, you have Bing in Metro mode right now. I want you to go, uh, uh, okay. You, so now you've gone to uh, desktop mode. Is that what you want? Hello? Yeah. Uh, that looks like three clicks to me. No. This was one. That's two. That's not, no, it's actually just one. I mean, okay. so here, that's one. That's it. One. 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 Well, well, that's, that's assuming, that's that's assuming you have that up over there. Yeah. You're not going to, I mean, yeah. Okay. That's what, we were talk that's what we were talking about, like, oh, well, you could probably just do what most people know. <laughs> uh, okay, and is that showing all four instances? Yes, it is. Okay. Because before, it wasn't doing stuff like that. They weren't communicating well with each other. Yeah, I, that's, that's why I was so impressed. I was like, finally, because the developer was useless. useless. I was like, Microsoft is going to go down and play. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so they fixed it where you can, once you get used to the fact that you have these two separate spaces. Yeah, that, come on, and we got to agree on this, man. This, get rid of this desktop. Just make them in your own little damn tiles that would have been a desktop, and they're all sandboxed like they normally are now. And you don't need icons here in this crap, Microsoft. Just be, and, and, and add this as part of the tablets, too. Just get do away, do away with the desktop. They can't a bit, bit. I am absolutely 100% certain come Windows 9, that is what Microsoft is planning to do. There is no way in hell they can, they can it, it's the, for the same reason you couldn't go straight from XP to Windows 7, you cannot go straight from Windows yeah. 7 to no desktop because there will be no fallback for legacy applications. They cannot no, do no, that. No, 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 incorrect. I'm talking about just a UI trickery, not... That's all I'm talking about is UI trickery. Uh, okay, but yeah. there is enough hurdles here for the average user behavior right, mindset. Right. That's what I'm trying to overcome. Oh, 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 okay, but I'm going to tell you right now, if Microsoft did what you just suggested, which is kill that, I'd be happy because they'd, they'd, they'd spontaneously combust into flames from all the backlash, but the average user ain't going to have shit to do with that. Wait, wait, wait. Well... What I'm saying with tutorials, it does. It, what, okay. People don't want a tutorial to use something they've been using before. Hey, look how many people have switched from freaking Windows uh, into learning the Linux environment in Windows to OS 10. If you make something intuitive enough, if you do make something. Uh, no, intuitive no, enough, no. I, 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 I diametrically disagree with that. Here's the thing. It's not that it's intuitive. I, I, I laugh at this. No, 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 no. Bet, bet. Think about this. Think about the mentality here. You take a Windows user and you sit them down in front of a Linux box or an OS 10 machine. They instantly already have the mindset, I'm in front of a different computer. I have to learn some things. You sit them from one version of Windows to another version of Windows, they're like, it's Windows. It should just work like the old Windows. Well, I won't disagree, Rusty, but I'm saying if it's intuitive enough. Yet, we're, you're talking about an argument that if the software is there, it's like when we discuss other technologies, I, we literally complain when the technology is insufficient. But if it's something that requires us to maybe learn, and if we learn it, there, you know, and, and it become, it's sufficient, as if we don't know it yet, then that's fine. There's a difference between us us being as, as geeky as we are and then pushing the software to its limits and we realize, no, no matter how intuitive it is, the instructions for it to being intuitive would still end up as a bottleneck. And, and oh, yeah, no, I agree with that. And again, I'm trying to be fair here. I'm not trying to compare it to... And, I, and, this, I, is how, and this is how I'm trying to say is that, see this window here? The, the, can you see my mouse? Because I can't tell what's happening. But... Um, what you're saying. This, uh, it looks like your mouse is in the lower right. Yeah, moving your. Yeah, okay. This right here is our, tra our traditional Windows 17. Yes. What I'm saying is, is if they kept, like, we get rid of Recycle Bin in this background and a taskbar here, mm -hmm. and, and it runs like it would, like Visual Studio 11 and all that other stuff, but this makes it look like it's part of Metro a little bit, okay? 
that it's, I'm just saying UI trickery. You, you can't kill the underpinnings of, of what. But if they did some UI trickery here. Oh, oh you, uh, I, no, and I, I, ben, I am absolutely convinced based on the direction Windows is trying to take the Windows UI, that Windows 9, whatever the heck it's named, that is, ex oh, right. that is exactly what they'll do. But they're not going to do it all in one step because... I, I got you. But it, they need to start the play. Most people are going to be like, what the hell? They, you, 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 most people won't go all the way to the corner. So you either oh no no! The, e even me uh, as a son, the first uh, and that was a thing that is it's a UI change in Windows that is going to bug a lot of people because yeah. they're, they're it, it, again as soon as I realized what they've done, I'm like, hey, this is making use of things like KDE and other things. Like, okay, I, I get it. Windows users have never screwed with that stuff if they've lived purely in the Windows thing. They're just gonna be. What, what do you mean? I have to go all the. We're other platforms are used to using the corner and the sidebar th things as things. That's a whole new behavior for Windows users. And it, it's it's they're, they're gonna go. What the hell? You know, I I'm, I'm I'm as far as I can go. Well, actually, you're not. You need to go over to the farthest spot. Because, like you said, it's not a start button, it's a start corner, really. Is really what it is. Now, you know, to, to try and be nice to people and actually convey... So, I just created a group for you. Yeah, yeah I, I, I was going to say, because you're showing the group stuff, which is, I guarantee you, every Windows user is going to need to learn how to do that. Yeah, but yeah. it's nice when you... No, no, yes. No, walk through. How are you doing that? What, what, what are you doing to do that? So when, you know, we're, we're, okay, I, I, I don't particularly like this approach. I prefer my KDE, but I understand there's going to be plenty of people stuck with Windows 8 systems, and they're going to have to learn to love them. So we need to teach them, okay, how do you not get screwed by your Windows 8 system? <laughs> so, so, like, let, let's walk them through creating a group like that, because they're going to need them for that UI. Saying you can do feedback this is just for their bullshit. <laughs> you know, there's our page. Now here's what I don't like. Here's one thing I will say I don't like with Microsoft so far. I understand the hot corners, but I have to move my mouse down to get this point. You see how that, that did that? I don't like that. Let the whole goddamn bar come up, not this shit. Where you have to move the you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah, was something. But also this is kinda hard. That if I move my mouse away on it, because I can close it. See, I missed it. Yeah, I know. It, it, it's I, I I prefer the way it's done in Compiz and KDE, where once you hit the corner, you're in it. Yeah. A, a, as opposed to corner slide into it. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. All right. A, yeah. It, so, uh, all right. What do I do? First of all, make your row. The way you make your row is it's pretty quick. Like take Reader for example. I'm just a normal click, and I and I'm dragging. Yes. Okay. I can move it over here, or here, or whatever. Or, if I just want to make its own category, I make a space. See where, like, in between. So okay. That, where it makes this column appear, whatever that long thing is right here. And I let it go. Bam. Okay. So now, let me ask you a question about that. Can I move the whole space? This whole thing? Yeah. Yes, you can. Okay. How do you do right. that? Because that's something right. else people are going to get to that. Okay. That's, you have to zoom out to do that. So, if you want to move this guy or whatever you were talking about, you can move it wherever you want. See, that right there is the feature me and about a dozen other people were saying, this start screen has a problem because once you get four or five of these things going to move something from the end, to the other end, you have to just drag and scroll it. Uh, yeah, no, you won't. You zoom in. Now, out. now they've given you the zoom out. See the whole thing at one go. I want this over here by this. Okay. Oh. Good. That's one of the major UI flaws. That is like if they would just do this, it would be easy. How, yeah. Uh, what? What? Now, what? what? Says all right if you Let me ask a question right, because the right click is used a lot more in Windows 8. Let me tell you right now. Okay. Like, just right clicking on the screen. Brings up all apps. Good. Um, now, now, I have two. I have two questions on where you are. 
Question one, what's the keyboard shortcut? Question two, set, question two, what's what's the mouse combination to get there? Uh, that's the start menu, like Windows X, uh, Windows C brings up like all your shit like that. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Um, like to well, zoom out like you did right there. Oh, Windows control, scroll wheel. Okay, so scroll wheel, intuitive, okay. Now is there a way to do that with a mouse click or are they going to have to get used to the keyboard combination? I'm not sure. You know what, that's the way I figured it out. I have to look it up for you. I don't know. Okay. Oh, control key only. Control key, scroll wheel seems to also. I was using Windows control. <laughs> but, the control but the Windows control. Well, and that's almost identical to the, the to the way you do that in KDE. You, uh, and, and KDE, depending how the system's mapped, that it's either um, super alt or control and the mouse wheel, but you can. Windows this. W brings up settings. I know Windows F brings up search for files, which is really quick. Uh, this brings you, you can bring it to the desktop with Windows E, Windows Q. It brings you to all apps with a search app. Um, Windows N makes it specific as you go down. Let's see, what else do they have? That brings you to the desktop. There's different combinations I've been trying. There's one that will gosh damn bring me to, um, I want to know what the, oh, I can't remember what it was. I've forgotten it by now. Oh, did it come up already? And I missed it. W which one? No, uh, not it. Not it. Okay, that's that one. That should be... I'm trying to do this one where it says all apps, but command or Windows Q to see. Yeah, see, it wouldn't be A because that's already mapped to something that else. That does it all. That's it. That did it like that. Let's see. So I'm trying to... Figure out. Well, I, I know you love the keyboard. I love the keyboard too. But uh, from the average user perspective... Oh, the average user should have to right-click to do this. Like, right-click, all apps. Okay. That's like, so you right-click a lot. Uh, okay. The, like, the keyboard shortcut for zoom out, okay, that, that they can learn that, or a power user can show it to them, or the Best Buy geek can show it to them, or, the, yeah. Um, but, uh, like... There's for zoom out, right down there. I didn't even realize that. I just yeah, I'm going to say, all of these things really need to be accessible, ideally. Yeah. For, okay. Boom, boom out, just like that. With Good. Because that's how it needs to be for Grandma. God, I'm so, I'm so, see, I, I don't, the mouse is just not. I, I know that, but again, I, you I know, know, human I factors, know. how is, how is Grandma going to interact with this system? Like, the point here we're getting at, have they addressed the UI issues that we're going to make in a boxing match. See, I can, I can mouse over here, and it stays up for a little while. If, uh, I have to significantly move it over to the right side. Okay. Uh, that's what I have to do. That's very different from up here, where I don't like that. See, that, that I, this one doesn't work too well, in my opinion. Uh, uh, let me ask a question a uh, hmm. bit there, since you've been using this more than me. Um, can you... Can you change which corner or side triggers these things? I haven't looked up how to do that. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Windows doesn't always let you do that. Uh, you know, uh, just to, some people may want it in corner X corner. I mean, they, they, if, if you can't, I, you can't. I thought about that. Let's see if you can't. You know, um, because some um, people just, they're going to, for their workflow. Well, yeah, check this out, Show administrative tool, right? Right. There they are. Okay, so they've basically bypassed going through the control panel to go straight through to where you'd want to go. Yeah, you can make anything show up as a tile at this point. Okay. So they've enabled the linking that you have in like Unix and Linux system, which is a 
about. Uh, it looks like they're becoming like your favorite UI, you know, your your. Uh, they're they're putting in the features that I like about it. I don't like this implementation, but I'm glad to see Windows finally adding features it has needed for about a decade now. Right. Because it, it's I mean it's made the UI clunky. And, you know, if they want to go a completely different implementation and get all that's fine. But it, it, those features are needed hey, for workflow. I've never tried this. Oh, yeah, this, that's right. It is. I have it on my. Uh... I'm sure notepads in there somewhere. It's got yeah, there it is. You got to do it on apps. There it is. <laughs> Sorry. Oh wait, wait there. a minute! Wait a minute! Notepad falls back to desktop mode. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well, is. Notepad's a sucky text editor, anyways. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, you were saying Metro Mode had tiles. What? Like what you, you said there was a way to do tiling and like in, in, in desktop mode, I'm assuming you can still do uh, the arrow snapping like you could in W seven and in the developer. But you said there was a way to do like screen splitting in the Metro yeah, Mode. Yeah, you can with Metro, but not not not. Uh, I don't think you can do it with. Um Bit, uh, yeah. take, gr bit, grab. Can I, can I read what I'm writing? No. Yeah, bit, grab the window and drag it to the left hand side. Okay, yeah, you said. Uh, okay, now that's how you do it in Windows Seven. That's also how you do it in KDE, but that's a different. Except you can't. We had no interruptions, man. Like... Except you can't snap it nine ways. Now in Metro, how do you get Windows? Because that was the main missing feature. I need, I, I like, I need to look at two things at once. Stop this goddamn full screen. What was it? I forget the, the damn combo on how to do it. It was a keyboard shortcut. There's no way to do it with the mouse? Oh, there's got to be. Um, but see, I don't know if it'll do it in this in administrative screen. I, I can get it on my other one. Hold on. Let me go to my other win Windows 8. Because I was able to do it over here. Okay. So, in spite of all the bloggers saying we only do one thing at a time, even the average user occasionally wants to look at two things at once. Yeah, no. Uh, and that's that's kind of a must if this is a desktop main operating system. It's slates. It's debatable. In fact, it'd give Windows a huge head up if they're the first slate to be able to let you multitask like that. Right. But for your well, desktop like, computer, because this is the one UI to rule them all, you, you need this feature and you don't want to have to fall back to desktop mode and, and, and you want to be able to use your Metro apps multitasking. Yeah, damn it. What is the thing to do over here? Now I've already forgotten. Just a minute. Just just a minute. Oh, it lets you do a, a screen. I hit the thing for screen extension, but that's not what we want. Key, okay, so what do we do? Look at this. This is crap. I did it, and I split the screen when we were discussing this last week, and I know I forgot. That's what happens when you get busy and forget stuff. Just a minute. Is it the mouse? What's the Because um... the developer didn't have that feature at all, so I wouldn't. It even... didn't have that feature at all, and I'm I'm just curious. What? I see. I don't know. If these alerts will let me. Um. Something is signed in. Oh. See, I don't know if these pop-ups count. Um, you know, are they going to block me from from 
Well, I mean, just try something like. Uh, I mean, you can try IE or try try to get two. You know what? Try to get two document browsers. Like can the. Yeah, that might be an idea. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, two of anything. Yeah. A, a, a picture and a and a and a word doc pad document. You know, it's a, like I, I have a picture and I want to read an email. You know, it's, it's anything. It doesn't really matter. I will learn again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can do it though. I, I know you love this, but I mean the amount of time it's taken, like just the things you've done before. I'm like, I, th this is one heck of a learning curve for people to ask them to. Yeah, there, uh, it's it's. Let's see. And because it's from Windows to Windows, they're going to be less inclined. They would be willing to climb a mountain for Windows to Linux or Windows to OS X, but from Windows to Windows, I... That's too much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, 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 I because if it's a keyboard shortcut, I guarantee you 9 out of 10 users are never going to use it and they're going to complain that they don't have a feature they don't even know they have. I'm just being honest about the human factors factor here. Yeah, I know. I, hey, this... Windows users use the mouse. If we switch over to the touch screen and your finger, your finger's got to do it, you know? This is what's interesting. So you can you drag out like that. Maybe that's how you do it. Drag out, put that in the corner. Oh, that's okay. Whoa, what happened? Oh, I, I, well, I thought that would be how you do it, but okay. Like, I want both of these at the same time. <laughs> Any two will do. <laughs> I, I, there is a way to do it, but I did some keyboard shortcuts. And I just don't remember what they are. Well, in grid and comp is, it's control alt number pad. Uh, I don't know if Microsoft would use something like was it, alt number pad? Yeah, would it be like Windows number pad is your grid or something? Because like on my system here, if I press Control Alt, oh, well, yeah, you can go to your, it'll switch me to my. Uh, well, no, no, but you need to be able to do this in Metro mode. You, yeah. you, Metro, you, you, the, the, the big problem about Metro mode was, you know, if you can do one thing at a time. It's all full screen all the time, and it's clear based on the start screen and everything else. Eventually, Windows is going to be doing everything in Metro mode. So if you lose Windows in Windows, it, it, I mean, I'm sorry. There are times you want to be looking at two pieces of yeah, information. Gonna, I'm gonna, I, hold on. I just forgot how I did it. one of the options in that bar on the side. Um, I, I actually, on that note, if you hover over the things on that bar on the side, does it tell you what the devil they do, or do you have to just get click happy to figure it out? Okay, that's what I want. Alright. Snap. You can use snap. So how do I use snap? Well, snap is the feature in desktop mode where I told you to drag it to the left. 
Yeah, but this guy is saying. Say we need we need a we need a snap like feature in Metro. All right, this is gonna show me how to do it. Uh, uh, okay, let me assume that that's what, what what happens. We'll see if that is that is true. From the corner, which corner? I'm doing it from the corner. It's not doing. It. So in this video, it's a how to snap. The runner uses cool feature. Oh. That's exactly what I did before. Oh, my monitor is. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Let me test it over here. I think that's what it is. It's saying you have to have a certain resolution. That's a fail. This should not be limited to resolutions. That's what it's saying on this website. I'm testing that. Well, you should feel ha you should feel like you're in WebOS now. You should be happy. <laughs> that is a WebOS move, but I would never think to do that with my uh, desktop. Let's see. Let's see. All right. It says that. Let me see what this. Let me see if this is accurate. I'm watching this from some damn thing. Let me see what this guy does. Okay. I did this on my other computer then, so why is it not? Okay, you know what? It's because my other computer has a higher resolution. Oh, okay, but if okay, that that. Yeah, but that's the sort of I, I, I'm gonna assume that's not gonna. That's not gonna be. That better not be that way in actual Windows, because think how many systems on the market have low resolutions. Let's see if I can even do that on this one, though. You know, because this is I'm oh, running off my USB stick. Um, so you know, I, I don't know if that's gonna be what we want to do. Let me see. Where do we do this at? Uh, zoom. Oh, check that out. I'm still learning. That's kind of neat. Can you see it? I can see that. I can see everything you're doing. You're still broadcasting your screen. Uh, so this is the set. All right. Oh, this is the settings for. Uh, okay. So if I were to go here, that would be, but I don't want that. We gotta do personalization. so many systems out there that are like that. If the, if it requires only high res screens, I dude, I, I I can use those features on this little six on this little like less than seven sixty eight netbook in Linux. That's that's not good if it needs a high def monitor considering how many mobile systems don't have one. That sucks. <laughs> um, let me make 
sure this is correct. I mean, because it doesn't seem to be working. So the 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 um. God, that, you're right. If they don't make this for smaller resolutions, then this sucks. It may it, it, that that's gonna be bad. I will agree. I'll give it. My other my other Windows eight, but you know, gotta see you. Um. I mean, because that—I mean—that is something the average user does. Not one hundred percent of them, but I would say seventy percent of Windows users, at least at one point in the week, want to look at two things at once on their computer. I always do. Yeah. Now, it, it, slates and phones—different story. They don't even support really doing that right now. But again, this is the one UI to rule. All devices, slates, phones, laptops, desktops. Just a minute, there's another guy who's got something else. Okay, the process of ocean is better duct. I'm going to say these have to be put in the system too much of stuff. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, you can actually, these apps can consist of two Metro style apps or one Metro style app and one legacy Windows app. When in this mode, the leftmost app, which is said to occupy the snap view, takes up about 30% of the online screen. So it takes up the rest. You can change a space. Okay, but how? How do you do this? I, I, I'm reading a thing here if it's called the Windows 8 Snap Enabler. There's a way to hack it in using RegEdit, but if that's what you have to do, I'm going to say fail. Yeah, that's a definite fail. Because I, I uh, no. <laughs> the average user, you start talking about RegEdit and WinR, they're like, what? <laughs> yeah. No, fail. But, but it does. But but it, it lets you even. It lets you. It lets you tile between um, a, a metro and a, and the desktop. The desktop though itself can run multiple. So it's kind of like it's kind of like if you have multiple running in your desktop here. Um, then y yes, but again. If you launch and more and and remember the direction Microsoft wants the platform to go is they want everybody developing for Metro, which means over time the applications are going to be Metro applications, mm -hmm. which means well, they have, they have to tile. I don't know why they have that resolution thing. I don't. Understand. Yeah, because it's like I'm looking in here and it's saying yeah, it's saying it's for high def monitors and it's like well by default it's it's disabled for low res. Here's how you hack it into the registry and turn it back. I'm like, uh-uh. It's like, that's a fail. <laughs> but um, traditional stuff like uh, Alt-Tab, see, takes you through everything. Yeah, but you... you, you and it, it does transcend desktop mode and, and everything. So. Yeah, uh, well, and I'm glad they fixed that because it didn't before. It, it's, um, but... It, it, Windows 8 is Windows 7. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it, the, the problem is the UI. And, and, and you do need the UI. Even if they completely and totally change the UI, you still need the same usability and functionality. Uh, so it, it, I, I was wanting to see this grid snapping feature that you were for Metro. I'm like, it needed that. If they've added that, good. But we seem to have found. But they haven't the quite. Yeah. yeah, they haven't added that quite right. <laughs> Sucks. Ah, yeah, it's, it's something about you. You have to change it to always enable LSS snapping set value to one. Yeah, yeah. You have to come in here and hack the registry. Yeah, no, fail. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm not trying to be hard or anything. I'm just being honest about what that does to usability if you have to hack the registry to, to get a basic feature. At least Alt F4 works in closing. <laughs> I don't think they changed uh, key cuts like that. I don't see how they could. Oh, I was curious. Maybe the UI did get shut down. You know, I
And everybody damn knows, please, if you're listening, Control Escape. Control Escape is start in Windows. It's only been out for freaking years. Where the hell have you been? Learn to use your keyboard. Look how fast I can go. You see this? <laughs> yeah, I'm sick. I need to measurable. Oh, but I'm a stupid dumbass. It wasn't, oh, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Get my little mouse because I'm happy. But, but you see the night and day difference? Now, if you keep doing that over and over and over again, it adds up. To a lot of oh, I know. It's, it, it, dude, I, I only use my mouse about 15% of the time, but that's me. Um, let me see. Yeah, well, okay, this is different than what you were talking about. This was snapping the desktop and the classic desktop and, and stuff around. It's called Snaps. Yeah, but this is not. You should not have to. I bet you. I bet you anything. There will be an app. Like fences and shit. Oh, you do. Trust me. Microsoft doesn't do it. There'll be an app. I have no doubt. There's gonna have to be, cause that's a. Uh... No. Man, but I, 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 I'm impressed. I'm a, look, I'm impressed because the developer copy was just. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I'm I'm not as impressed with you because I I I mean it didn't take us very long to find a, oh, shit, Microsoft fucked us, uh, and and again I think all well, of no the. No one's gonna do that. No one's gonna be perfect, but th this is a drastic. They've they made. Well, no, but it, it, again, this is going back. I I, I am. I'm leaning back. You, you, you were starting to convince me, and then we found this. Now I'm leaning back towards. You're worried about the tile. That's all. You want that. You want to be able to tile it. Well, up, no, it, there's, there's, but there's a bunch tile. of features like that. The fact that that's not quite right itself. It, it's here's my concern. Okay, it, um, and this isn't me, you know, being a Lynn tart or anybody. This is just me going. This. It, as much as Windows Vista was a was a change in the base underpinning architecture, which is why a lot of stuff got broken and didn't transition over from XP, and because it couldn't, you know, and, and basically it was the intermediary step on its way to Windows Seven, so everything could get caught up. I'm seeing. As I've been seeing Windows 8 for some, I'm like, I think once they figure out everything they did wrong and figure out that like features like like we were just talking about here should be enabled by default instead of you have to hack them in uh, and, and and so on and so forth, I think all of that will get nicely polished and corrected in Windows 9. But in the meantime, do you really want to go through the first bite, of, first bite at trying to do it of Windows I'll 8? I'll give it a shot. I, I, I'll, I'll, no doubt, I'll give it a shot. Um, but uh, it, it, it does have some things that it, it, you know are going to need to be done. Like, see, it's waiting for my. I'm not going to log in. I'm sorry, Windows. I'm not going to give you. You know. So there's other things. I, I'm just trying to show different ways of doing that goes into desktop. It's interesting. It's like this toggle or start button here. Uh, okay, there was one other feature you said Windows had finally added, mm. which was enhanced zoom capability. The. Uh, well, when you were doing that Did in. Did we talk about zooming last time? You, you, you said Windows had finally added something that uh, OS X, Linux, and BSD have had for yeah, what, what? years, which was the ability to zoom in on your screen. No, Windows could already do that with Windows 7. No, it wasn't that. We have to How do you do that? Uh, wait, wait. This is a feature I'm not aware Windows 7 has. How do you do that in Windows 7? How do you zoom in? Uh... Well, I have to win a seven damn thing up. <laughs> 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 
I don't remember. I think it's the control key in, 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 in Zoom, I think. Uh, that's not working. Because I know it, it. Are you running on Windows 7? Uh, I, yeah, I have a Windows 7 book right here. I, I'm, I'm doing control mouse wheel, and it's not zooming into the desktop. Now go over here on my Linux box. I, I've mapped it to the Alt key. So I can do Alt, zoom in, zoom out. You know, I can just zoom in on any part of the screen I want. No, I zoomed in on, on Windows. You did that a second ago on Metro, but have they added that to desktop mode? And you had like a sliding bar thing going earlier, but it, 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 you know you know what I'm talking about. You can do it. I, I'm sure, I don't know if you ever used, I, I know OS Ten has that feature. I I yes, that. Okay, so they've added the magnifier in. Now, does it work over here? Uh, over here? Yeah. Okay. Microsoft, it's about damn effing time, but good. <laughs> I, thought it, I thought you could use the... Uh, uh, mouse for, I swear. I've used it. I, I, I know I have... There are third. There are plenty of third-party add-ons to do that. Maybe that's what it did. I know. I'm but it, 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 it wasn't there by default. It wasn't built in. All right. Well. So you had to add it, every every way I knew to do it on Windows um, up until I guess Windows 8. You had to add a third-party add-on to do it. You you could add the functionality, but it was one of those things. Really, really, I have to add this. <laughs> Here's the thing, it, it creates a desktop instance for each, for each, um, Ooh. legacy app. Uh, that's not, that, oh, th okay, that, that was... Because it treats it like an app, it treats it like an app. No, see, that right there was one of the things I was noticing in, in, in the earlier thing. I, I was looking at the resource usage and I'm like, boy, you're needlessly doubling up on shit. Yeah, I don't think it does... I don't know. I don't think this is a re it's, it's not slowing down. I just think that they make it a, just a visual instance on on your on your task here. That's but oh, okay, let me ask a question. That's why I'm saying they need to get rid of the desktop. Uh, oh, 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 okay, but you've brought up a you've brought up another issue I'd completely forgotten about. But now that you've brought it up, I have to ask. Okay, it's created each of these in their own instance. Okay, uh, you sounds like you answered. You just entered my thing. Do you have a way to combine them? They are combined. Yeah, you just, okay. Yep. Okay. Because that's like, that's going to drive you nuts if you're trying to open things side by side and it's putting them all over the place. Okay. So they did allow that, finally. So it sounds like they've addressed some of the issues, but not 100%, but they're not in release yet. So they may listen to more bitching, they may not. We'll find out when they launch it, and I'm guessing they're going to launch it in October or November, if I had to guess. Does that sound about right for you? I'm not sure when they're going to launch it. It's going to be sometime this year. It's going to be in time for Christmas this year. I, I'm not seeing them waiting till next year to launch it. What is Skype doing this? Is it because of my screen thing? What? This this box. Oh, you don't see it. I see that box. You, you see this box? I guess it's because it's telling me to stop sharing. Or, 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 yeah, or, if you click stop sharing, you'll stop broadcasting your screen and go back uh, to the camera. Uh, did I stop? No, I'm still seeing you. Uh, I'm just learning Skype. I don't know what that is. I can't see it very clearly, so I don't know. Um, any other like wow features you want to show off in that that you think uh, just made it? I don't want us to go. I was really pleased with the compatibility of my side base and everybody else. You know, it's essentially Windows Seven. Go ahead and so, switch. Uh, go ahead and switch back to your camera then, if we're done in here. Yeah. I mean, there's not really 
It's just apps. You're, 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 you're still doing your screen broadcast. Oh, I know. I haven't, I'm just fixing my chair here. Stop sharing. Did it stop? Yeah, and uh, turn your video back on. How do I do that? Video. Is it back on? It's There it goes. Okay. Right. <laughs> See, you learn something new every day. <laughs> I didn't know that about Skype. That's you new. didn't know you could just screencast? I like, I didn't know. No. Uh, yeah, no. It's. Yeah. I mean, it's got the same limitations of the video yeah. thing. You can't. Let's put it this way. We couldn't do 90% of, of this in the film. I, 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 based on what you were showing and going through there, I think they've addressed, I'd say, 70 to 85 percent of the what the F hurdles. But I don't think they've addressed all of them. So depending what type of user you are, what you're using the computer for, it, it may or may not so you're oh, saying, they, they, yeah, everything is, you know, it, it's, they just need to address some things that I, I think that I and others are, are, are if you're going to do the desktop, then you need to make it clear how to freaking get back um, to, to, to the start. Well, it, this is definitely an order of magnitude better than the developer. I'll, I'll oh, give it uh, that. It, it, yeah, no, it is an order of magnitude better. It, it uh, I, I think... It is an order of magnitude better, not because of the reason they're giving people like you, where they're saying, well, you as developers didn't need any of that. I think it's because they listened to the internet as a whole bitching and crying about how they were going to shoot themselves in the foot, yes. and they took a step back and realized, you know what? They might be right. <laughs> So they went and, you know, basically pulled an apple and go, okay, let's fix this, let's fix this, let's fix this, let's address this. Let's. Uh, but they haven't quite got all of it yet. But uh, most of the things we're talking about are, I mean, like the snap not enabled. That's a registry setting. They could change the default from zero to one. That, that'd be very easy to do. That would require no new code, just changing the default value. Yeah. Uh, and if if they're smart, they'll listen to all the things like that that people are bitching about. And by the time it gets around to launch, uh -huh. the consumer will get something that's usable, and they'll wonder what the heck people like us were talking about. Going, it sucks. You're gonna hate it. You're like, y'all were smoking something. Like, you did not see what we saw. You did not see what it was. I can make I your agree. skin crawl. I agree, man. Um. So, I, I give them 50-50 whether or not they'll listen the rest of the way. If they do, they're not going to churn and burn. But they got to listen uh, uh, the rest of the way. I still don't see business adopting this. I, I do through this Windows to Go thing. For the play. Windows to Go, I see the IT adopting it. But there's, okay, there's business and business. IT will love it, but... You and I both yeah, but that's know. That's always a conflict. I don't know. No, I, mean, I, I know, but he, he, okay, here is the rub, though. Uh, we were talking about Windows 9. You know, we agree this is a. I think we both agree this is an in between step that yeah. it, it's assigned. To make that step completely, it's a chicken and egg thing because you have to have like 70% plus of stuff out there going metro. And 70% plus stuff out there isn't going to go Metro until the majority of business enterprise customers, you know, the bread and stock of Windows, have embraced Metro and Windows 8. So, it fit your, your guesstimations, do you, because we know it's going to be a, a, like a three-year cycle. It's, 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 it's how many Metro apps come up, and I'm afraid that... The serious apps and, and things are going to take a little longer to get over to Metro. I, I agree. Than, than apps, so. Which is why they have the, the, the desktop fallback mode. Yeah. And, but the desktop fallback mode needs just UI trickery to it to make it or do something. They need to make you something. That, that, put the start button back. That, that one. Uh, but see, that, but you, you know what? Putting the start button back 
would break the Metro push they're going for. They're trying ah, to... No, 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 no. Make this thing right here where I do the, the, the corner thing. Uh, I'm going to have to think about it. This thing right here, down here in the corner. Yeah, the, 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 the not start screen, start screen, yeah. I mean, the not start menu, start menu, start. yeah. Click button right here where the ID is, and when you click it, 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 it does this. That's all. Okay. That's that leaps and bounds. Here. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 why? If you're used to KDE, the idea of clicking in a corner to trigger something, but yeah, for Windows users, it's it is counterintuitive. They want the button. You're, I see what you mean. Yeah. Because if you're gonna do this. Crap. And not make it look like a tile, like, and do some UI trigger to make it look like it belongs in Metro somehow with an older window on top of it. Then, if they're not gonna do that, then you got the start button. Start button. And you start know button. what? Actually, I would because they're trying to do the Metro push. I would fix that a different way. Okay. I, I, instead, I would get rid of that little min, that little four or five prompt menu down there altogether. I would do. Uh, the, put, put your mouse down there and trigger that menu that launches the start thing. I would get rid of that. I would make that a side screen in the start menu itself, those options there. And I, I would just have the button down there that goes straight to the start screen. None of this goes through that menu to go to the start screen. I just straight to the start screen. Because you're going through a menu to go to a menu. It's as opposed to... Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying, put the start button here and you click and it does do this? It goes straight here. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I mean. Okay. I mean, that, uh, so that you want to get rid of that little corner menu too? Yes. Okay. I mean, the thing, the thing, see, what I'm saying is if you're not going to get rid of this, like like our um, the task bar, and, and, and I'm saying visually, just do a UI layer if you have to on top of it, and then put the apps that we want to run through Legacy, like on the same background as this, 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 whatever. Or um, uh, uh, l let me I'm ask. Saying, uh, make no. it look like no. I am still in Metro, even though it's got the Windows stuff. So this app won't look. Uh, that app may not look like this Metro full screen app. Okay. So basically, what we have is an app. Uh, right here that still has the buttons and stuff, okay? But the background around here where my mouse is moving is, it, it, it's flat, like a flat color, like our background in Metro. Right. And I can still move this around and all the other windows come up and, 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 and crap like that and 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 do the same uh, navigation stuff as you do in Metro. And I think that that would, would make it uh, and, and, and like I said, I think that's what Windows 9 will do. Yeah. But, but they, see, it's they, so simple just to put a UI thing and make these menus here uh, show up, you know. Um, now, now, let me ask you another question, Bit, since you're on, since like you're, this. yeah, since you're toying around with the idea of changing that stuff and doing things like that, do you think Microsoft should embrace what KDE did a long time ago, which is the idea of customizing your you're like what you're wanting there is uh, uh, you choose your button UI thing and in K in KDE the reality is you don't just have the kickoff uh, and launcher menus you have several versions you know you can pick whichever one you want do you think Windows should let power users or business users, it shouldn't be on by default because they're trying to push Metro, but do you think they should have an icon that they can enable that enables a more traditional uh, style start menu or a different style for no, once? No, they can't, they can't address any of that. What, if they're going to go on Metro, do it they have to basically take the, you got to yes. use this approach. Yes, bite the bullet, absorb the complaints, but just make a, make it intuitive enough for us to take this transition in a sensible way. We're going to bitch and moan the whole way. 
this change is something, but as long as it's a change for the better, I'll take the change. Uh, see, I'm not sure. I, I, it w without some additional functionality to the UI, at, at well, this... Well, have the additional function, but you're asking like them to put the start menu that comes up with the program. No. If the navigation for, for apps and all this other stuff does definitely need to stick like this to, 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 to Metro. Okay. I, I I like this far better anyway. It gives me I don't have to do the stuff. I, I like you no. know what you know what honestly bit you know what that reminds me of? The functionality I had in Windows XP where I could actually see all the applications at once. Yeah. That I hated I loved that they embraced some KDE features, but I hated that they locked it to this little tiny clicking through start menu screens. Right. I'm like, no, let me see my up team jillion applications at once, not scroll through pieces of the list. That is the return of a feature you had before Windows Vista. Sure. Just in a different wrapper. But that's that's the return of an old feature. It's like yeah. <laughs> but you gotta admit, now you understand what I was so excited about versus development treatment. It's an order of magnitude better than a developer. It, it, I, I'm, I think there's more things. Well, that, well, I guess you didn't see. Uh, all right, the things that I liked was, you know, Visual Studio worked. I tried programming through it. Oh, you know, and I even used an old data connection ODBC. I had SQL up. And no, I, no. I, I ba based on what you've program. shown here, you, yeah. the, it, you can at least get work done in Windows 8. In the, I can do it very quickly. Yes. I stated that it works, it flips faster for me. I, I, I guess that what I like about Windows 8 is is that it, the flipping and stuff like that seemed faster for me. And I was able to get a lot of stuff done. I didn't, I, you know what? Maybe that's what it was. I found myself using the mouse less in Windows 8 than I do in Windows 7. And maybe that's why I'm moving faster uh, and some of just the things that I was just test building. Because I guess the UI lends itself to me to be more the keyboard, keyboard warrior conscious. Yeah, because Windows Windows are draggable and all this other crap. Metro really takes you full screen, and you're not moving shit around as much with the mouse. And so I guess my my I didn't realize it. Maybe I'll, I'll admit. Maybe I didn't realize it that I intuitively was because I was in a full screen scenario and things like that that. It, I stopped thinking about the mouse and went more to the keyboard automatically. Maybe it, 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 will that happen with everybody? No. No. As a matter of fact, but, if that it, it, well, I would actually consider that a drawback for most users because that's going to be counterintuitive to them. But if you're going to be in desktop mode, and which win, which which the Visual Studio was, you're going to see all your windows up. And I, I, Visual Studio 11 still runs in desktop mode. Uh, and so does all my database stuff like that. Well, and see, that's the other thing that's going to be the mixed message here. It's clear Microsoft wants things to go Metro, but if all the productivity apps wind up being desktop mode... Well, yeah, as soon as they go to Visual Studio, if they were to get, like, SQL and all that, but that's going to... That's going to take them. See, that's why I'm, I'm... I don't know. I'm curious if they make a workstation to us. I'm curious. What if Visual Studio 11 never goes to Metro app? Well, then, the, are we implying there's going to be a professional operating system on the way? I don't know. Because for this to be your one UI to rule them all, there's some additional work needed to be done. If, okay. like you say, I'm, they're going to make the secondary one, then that means... server can't look like this. Server is not going to look like this, is it? Windows Server? I don't. I doubt it. I think for the consumer and the user mainly, Windows Eight is going to trend is, is going to transcend uh, all of the all of the devices. I think maybe for professionals, if I don't see them moving SQL and Visual Studio Eleven, which Visual Studio Eleven is new, it's it's still like a beta, okay? Uh, then. There's a pro. There's a pro Windows coming. Well, and we're in that in between right now, so we're we, we basically, it's going to be what of these additional oohs do they address before they actually? But you know what? I, now that I'm using, I don't want to lose this. I like this. I really do. 
See, I, 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 I find going to my system settings faster in Windows 8 than Windows 7. I like this. Oh, you're not seeing my screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting used to the idea that he can show his screen to us. Yeah. He didn't know. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I, just, <laughs> I can't just believe it. you didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I didn't know that. No, it's a Skype. It's a, a Skype. I'm not a social as much, you know, into that. But I miss this. This is great. I want this also. No, so like I like said, that, that honestly... It, when I, whenever I've had whenever I've had to use a Windows system in the last um, three to five years, and I've been using Vista or Seven systems, yep. and I, I love this. I love these groups. Are you kidding me? I love these groups. This is fantastic. No, this, that this that is awesome. it, that right there is the feature you needed to make that start screen usable. I'm glad they <laughs> added it. Oh yeah. See, and on Windows 7, I use a program called Fences. I called it Pains before it was you know. Yeah, for those, of you, for those of you in the Linux camp who are wondering what the devil Fences is, you know the plasmoid folder views in KDE? That's Fences. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and see, I, 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 don't, I actually like that, so I'm kind of torn. You know? I, I, I would go with Metro. If they made it... It's snappy. If I, I, I don't have a problem. I, I mean, as a, as a developer, don't have a problem living in Metro. It, it, as long as it takes for legacy to catch up, whatever, we'll just use a desktop. But they need, you know, they still need to make the improvements we were discussing. And, yeah. Uh, and some of the, but, but I will, I could do it. You know, I could do this. I could see administrating a server like this. Um, very much, very much like. Um, where, where did I find that thing again? Like this, totally. Right here, and having all your tiles for server mystery easy up and running. I mean, but a lot of people use the uh, command command prompt anyway. I mean, if you're really on a server anyway, or you are using yeah, you're usually prompt. doing things. You don't, you don't worry about a, you know you're you know you're not going to worry about a UI. But I could see those guys that are like the middle small companies that aren't in command console and all that other crap. This would make this point and click system stuff, and that's all they're going to be interested in. You know, so I, I, I'm liking it, Rusty. I don't know. I'm, the tiles really grew on me. Okay, I'm I, I'm where I was and where I have been for the last uh, going on. I think ten months now that we've been in Windows 8 beta. I'm holding final judgment until I see what issues they do and don't address for the actual consumer build that they're selling to people. Right. But it, they've, they've made progress in addressing a lot of the issues. There's still issues left. Oh, I should show you. Let me go back to... Um, God, I keep forgetting this. I, I wish it would just... Skype would automatically go to video. Um, uh, uh, it, you know how Alt Tab does this? Mm -hmm. I just I just found that if you go Win Tab, it does that. Check that out. Through Metro, Win Tab will take you to your Metro apps, even from the desktop view. See that? Look mm -hmm. at that. Right? That's pretty neat. Okay, so I'll I'll launch a view. Windows Tab. Look at that. See? So that takes me through Metro stuff. Yeah, but still, if I'm doing a, a Metro workflow, I don't... I know, but look, 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 see? Okay, now, now, but, but that's significantly still different than alt tab that does everybody, right? But this is the Metro side. Yeah, I just, it, it basically... I, 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 I just learned that, so... You, you, right. you're, you're showing me functionality I have over here on my... I'm not saying it's going to be better than, than what you got, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm saying that this is Windows. We got to get. Like I said, I'm trying to be fair. Yeah. It, 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 it's uh, they they have additional features that are needed, but they've added they've they've definitely got a good chunk of the list. We'll see if they get the rest before they actually start selling this, and then it's going to be: Does the industry embrace it, or does business reject it? Uh, we're gonna binge and all this stuff, but. Their Windows, I, 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 I don't think it's stupid. I think that they know that there's going to be massive complaints.
complaining and oh my god kind of thing. But they're gonna have to bite the bullet. That's all. No, well, no, but see, that's the reason I am leaning towards the, unless they address every one of these things and put together a massive campaign of education, it's going to be a VISTA transition because it's going to be... Well, like you said, VISTA transition was because the technology stopped you, not the UI message. I know there was UI complaints. I know it. But the major reason for drawbacks was because it just failed and error stopped and drivers didn't work and it, the colonel didn't know what the hell it was up to. You know, it's just, there was so much system running in the wall at a technical problem and that caused its adoption rate to be so criticized. Oh, oh okay, but you're going to have the same issue with mass. Well, you'll have to do my guys, but you know what? If it doesn't error and if there's not a technical driver issue, you're going to say, well, we do it this way. Sure, there's still going to be people like, ah, oh, damn, you know, and, but but it technically won't stop you from doing it a different way. Oh, this oh, okay. There's technically and then there's in practice. I mean, to go through things, uh, we, we've okay. spent, I, I mean, bit, bit, bit. We have spent 90 minutes here going through basic things. We spent 90 minutes going through a consumer preview, unbaked OS. But, uh, okay, but, uh, and like I said, I'm holding final judgment no, sure until I, I, I will judge it actually based on what is being shipped on the shelf meant for consumer consumption. Right, right. I, I am assuming that they're going to make improvement, but your argument is like because the UI alone, that's it, they're, they're giving up, they're just going to give up on the system. Well, I can see that in a lot of cases. Um, I don't know, I didn't know it. This is a Skype feature, I'm sorry, I'm looking at a Skype thing. It, has its own little button on my test. Um, so, so the 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 deal of it is, is that there's going to be complaints, but with massive amounts of education and just yeah, biting the bullet. Uh, yeah, and like I said, that'll come to that'll come to fruition in Windows Nine. <laughs> but but I, this will I will not like this this because this is failure was system crashes and absolute failures of, of even taking hardware. Window, this is Windows 7, so we know there's not driver and all this other crap, okay? Now, we don't know how Metro, but see, I already know that in the .NET, I've looked at all the Metro stuff, it really, it's, it, 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 with all the pointers and everything. Oh, 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 okay, if you want to nitpick to death, Vista was, like you say, an underpinning problem. This will be an overpinning UI problem. Uh, I, 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 okay, so th uh, I okay. think I, because I, I, each are equally important that it can't have the same result. Here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. I live the days of going to Windows uh, 311, Windows 95. Okay, and people bitched like there was no tomorrow about the UI. Now, Windows 95 had the problems of, of there was technical problems here, okay? But people just go, oh, okay, here's start, and, and they did this, and, 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 and it worked, and they adopted the UI. And Windows 95 is on record for being such a drastic UI difference, it, it was massively adopted. Well, here was the difference there. And, and like I said, I'm going to wait till we have the thing on the shelf. I mean, Windows no. 95, yes, was a complete UI departure. But it added a considerable improvement in functionality. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I like the functionality I'm seeing here, but I won't disagree with you. If they don't fix it, what you want here... It, yeah, I'm going to say, it, it, the, the, and the real difference between 95 is, why it was a complete departure in UI, it, there wasn't one feature you had in 3 that you didn't have in 95. Every single feature was there was just different, but you could do you could do every single thing you could do in three and ninety five. Right now, as Windows eight exists this second, you cannot do every single thing and behavior you do in seven and eight. If they address that, then yes, it's another ninety five transition, and once everybody gets used to the departure. They're good.
But if you lose functionality as part of that change, that's different. See, Windows 3 was still very much DOS. 95 was still very much DOS. Anyway, okay, we're going to run our damn programs here. I, I mean, like, people running DOS programs within the 95 too. So it's still a hybrid situation in the back then. See, people forget history. And living through it, you know, in today's generation, a lot of like people on YouTube and pundits, a lot of them. No, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. In fact, one of the things that threw a lot of people for a loop in the in the Windows 3 to 95 change was that was where we got rid of the approach that OS 10 still uses today of having all your applications in a window, and we put them in this thing called a start oh, menu. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, that was one of the dr dramatic UI changes that happened there, and people were like, "Where's my window?" See, I, I don't use OS 10 anywhere remotely. Where yes, where you do open up your folder to see that I don't even do that. I don't even do that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even gonna lie. The way OS okay, the way OS 10 is designed is you're opening them primarily from the dock. But well, true, but I don't. I I like Spotlight. Uh, oh, 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 okay, but there are times where you still have to go back through that applications menu in OS 10. I forget about it. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, you know what? There is a lot of OS 10 users know that I forgot I did it for my dad. I was gonna it. see. I never got to finish my for my dad. My dad conversation. I put my dad with Windows 95. You know, they were just Windows that, and and I and they finally got an Apple. You know, I was tired of fixing their damn Windows problems. Okay. I didn't teach them shit. And they just, they, they essentially to this day learned to listen on their own. And, and it was, I, it was intuitive enough for them just to get it. And my dad likes doing his word stuff in there more than he did in Windows. He, he, he likes it. Um, and, and this is a guy who threw a laptop in a trash can. <laughs> I won't go on a, on a OS 10 bad rant, but there are, I have come across... I guess not for everybody. Yeah, I no, that's the thing. And I have seen it's people, I, I have seen people who OS 10, OS 10 does things differently. And I have seen people just, like, uh, one of the things in OS 10 that should, should make sense... But you know the people I'm talking about, and this is one of the reasons I don't like OS 10. It, 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 it's uh, it's uh, it, I, I I got it in Sean. It's just I've I have seen people have like aneurysms over this. The I and that some of this is a bad mindset thing. But the idea of to do like a, a, they get a notice that popped up, and what they have to do to get rid of the notice because there's no OK button or anything. There's like a cancel go away button or drag the icon over. And I have seen people on OS 10 systems get that notice and start cussing, yelling, screaming at their OS 10 system, going, yeah, what the fuck do you want me to do? Look, I, I, there's, of course, but we can't please everybody. I'm not every OS is going to please everybody. But I was going to say, there's a lot of people that are leading to my dad, who is very much a non-computer user. The... Um, I did do some, a trick that we do, which you can drag the applications folder into the dock, and it cr kind of creates a start menu effect. But he doesn't use that anymore. But he, in the beginning, I think that was the only thing. That just I to give him a I place called, I, just to give him a place called start. Yeah. Yeah, I offered it to him, and I said, okay, I'll put this here. But I, he doesn't use it. They haven't used it, so. Yeah. So, I mean, it just depends. And, you know, honestly, like you said, it, 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 as long as somebody isn't trying to convince me that OS X is the is like, it's better because it's so, I'm like, I can give you perfect, I can give you plenty of examples where all well, that. OS X is, when I argued OS X against Windows, I, I still stand by its, its, its performance and it's on, in many regards, and in, in, in its entire design structure, versus when that's why I make videos on Mac versus PC on OS 10 uh, being a better OS. Now, UI implementation is subjective, but uh, Windows. Well, I mean, and and, I, and and this is why I'm more in the Linux versus OS 10, BSD versus OS 10, because it, you know it, the the idea of OS 10 versus Windows. Yeah, but see, but see the, the counter argument that I can't. 
that, that cannot be essentially defended is that BSD and Linux, even now, cannot be adopted um, by mainstream users. Just Now, it's come a long way. I, I will say just as much, but for the freaking longest time, it was just so frustrating. Even geeks I put get, got to my just got frustrated with how it has to do things and its packaging. It, they just... It, it, so, while the Uber geek... If a person that is such an Uber geek that knows how to navigate even a Unix shell is going to crush any mainstream OS that has massive amounts of layers needed on it just, just to make it, it it's simplistic for a mainstream user. End of day. Well, I got a list of features OS X needs to have if it ever wants me to consider using it as a main OS. Uh, but that's a, you know that's an argument you and I are never going to see eye to eye on. <laughs> no, because I, I, I'm just saying that an Uber geek. You're talking about UI implementation. No one can argue that. That's a subjective thing. We're talk, if we're talking about performance and, and underpinnings that systems have, and or function tasks, not not necessarily oh how it's is it over here or is it over here, but saying how maybe how is something. Installed, uninstalled. How is how is its attributes addressed? Like well, that. at the end of the day, in today's industry, it's a Windows world, and Unix and Linux are just living in it. Which means inevitably, both Linux and Unix, at some point, wind up having to run Windows stuff. And, and the reality is. Both OS X and Linux do that identical. Um, a, a lot of the same tools are there. For the extra price you wind up paying for OS X, in some cases you have better commercial support, but in a lot of cases you're in as much a no man's land as stuff. And I, it, in some industries, and in a lot of things, the best solution is because of the open source fluff heads but like I'm gonna screw you guys in the outside world it, 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 it it's either Linux only or works so much better in, yeah. in Linux and it just yeah. it depends on what you're doing yeah and I hated for the longest time how Linux like the, the years I used it really tried to mimic in its UI the Windows start and all that crap I, I don't like to start I don't even freaking use it hardly Windows. That you know that that's actually gone the other way now. Um, I know. Uh, Me seen. Metro is a departure from that for Windows, but for the last two cycles of Windows, Windows was actually copying Linux, which was I saw, yeah. Well, but well, they, you know they were using the KDE code base. Of course they were, <laughs> but uh, it, it's it, that is one thing about Metro. Microsoft has found their own two feet again to stand on. They're, they're going a different direction. They're going a, this is the Microsoft direction. Which, you know, at least they are doing that again.